Why do people rave about this blue supplement for brain health and what is it? It's called methylene blue and it's been used medically for decades. For example, in emergency rooms for cyanide poisoning, because cyanide blocks the electron transport chain in your mitochondria and it stops you using oxygen and making ATP and then we all know what happens next. So basically, methylene blue acts as a substitute electron carrier in the electron transport chain. Our mitochondria are vital for health because they produce energy or ATP, but they also produce something called exclusion zone water or EZ water, which lots of people don't know about. And this is vital for lowering inflammation. So people use methylene blue to improve the function of the mitochondria. The other reason people use methylene blue is it quickly crosses the blood brain barrier and it can inhibit monoamine oxidase, which increases things like serotonin and dopamine in your brain, which can help with mood and depression and anxiety. I want to emphasize here that you don't have to use methylene blue to have healthy mitochondria. There are loads of other things that you can do and I'll cover it in other videos. So the reason it goes all wrong is people use far too much because 20 to 30 milligrams is plenty, not 200 milligrams. Also people buy the wrong sort. You don't want the fish tank cleaning grade, the industrial grade. You want to get the pharmaceutical grade. But please do your own research, especially about things like this, because methylene blue can be really helpful for some people, but it can interact with medication and be unsuitable for others. So feel free to comment and thanks for watching.